How you doing folks? Real quick video on lighting, uh, uh, lighting kind of cupboards and the wardrobe in the California. So I see the 2018 model is coming out and it has some really nice features in that the, the you know, the cupboards underneath the sink and the cooker and uh, the wardrobe there are lit. And um, so it got me thinking, yeah, it's probably something I'd like to have done uh, in the van. I'd also have like to have the, the glass top split. I think if I can get that retrofitted, I'm gonna get that as well. But anyway, to stick to the point. So the, um, yeah, so the lighting in the in the van. Um, so when I saw them switching on and off the lights, I thought, yeah, it'd be super handy. So the issue we have is that they're obviously not lit. And in the grand scheme of things, it's not, not a huge issue. But uh, I suppose with all the lighting that you have around it, but I just think it's a nice feature. Um, so what I did was I went on the hunt looking for various lights. And what I had in mind when I was out shopping was those kind of push button little kind of dome lights you know that you can stick them here there and everywhere you usually see them in houses and under stairs and things like that you push it and it comes on you push it and it switches off again and um, so i was looking for those things the only thing i don't like about them is that they're very easily switched on and um, so with stuff kind of rocking around in the presses underneath you might accidentally switch the light on and then kill the battery also um they take up uh, enough space that they could be become an issue so trying to position them where do you position them so that you can kind of get your fingers through them uh, to switch it on and off and that it's not in the way also could be an issue anyway so to cut to the chase while i was on the hunt looking for lights i found these things right so what this is basically is a it's strip lighting so it's strip lighting with little leds if i can hold it up there okay there okay so camera's kind of struggling a little bit right but it has these I know it's not in focus, but it has these little little LED lights and the length of it is, what's that, a meter or so, is it, or something like that. So you see you get quite a bit, you get a quite a bit of lighting. And then it's powered by three, uh, what are these, AA batteries. Um, and now I'll switch it on. So you can see it's really quite bright. Nice effect there, actually. Uh, so very good. So. The, I don't think they were that dear. I think it was about three euro, about three euro maybe. I don't think it was that dear. And I got it in um, home, uh, home Focus or something, I think it's called here in Ireland. Um, so I got them anyway, and I got two of them, and what I've done is I've installed one of them. So there's a bit of kind of trying to figure out where I'll put it, you know. So I'm kind of going, where where will I put this that it has the most effect? So you see, the, the light is quite bright. It's, it's quite piercing. So what I'm thinking of doing is I think, I'm not sure if I'll put one in the wardrobe, um, because I think looking at the wardrobe, well, maybe I will, maybe I will. So, uh, uh, but what I'll do is I'll show you. Uh, oh, and the other thing then is what I've done is I've, I've, I've positioned this into place, and what I did was I used trusty blue tack to hold it, hold it into position. So I have this. So basically, what I did was I put a bit of blue tack on the bottom and a bit of blue tack on the back, stuck it into position, and so far so good. Um, so what I'll do is, that's the end of it. I'll, I'll, I'll end the video here and what I can do then is I'll put either a little bit of B-roll over what I've done or I'll cut to it here now. So whichever works best in the video. If you have any questions, give us a shout. Thanks, bye. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention with the lights is that the, um, the back, it's 3M tape here on the back. And what you do basically is you just peel off the surface here and then the back becomes sticky and it sticks in place. So if I feel where the lights are, yeah, it's it's well bonded. Feeling it there now, it feels well bonded. So I think um, we'll see, have to see how well, it, how well it lasts. But 3M is a good brand in that it's good, you know, it's good, good adhesives. I think it'll, I think it'll stay. Thanks, bye.